Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, we're going to be talking about none other than Kanye West, okay? And his Instagram rants. Hell, he'd be on Twitter sometime, too. I wouldn't be surprised if he would do a YouTube video and just trip everybody out, okay? But right now, he has gotten suspended once again from Instagram by posting hate speeches, hate rants, okay? <sighs> we have Andrew Limbong, who works for NPR.org. He's writing a piece on pop culture. And he chose Kanye West. Okay. He titles his article, Yay, takes to Twitter after Instagram restricts his account following anti-Semitic posts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yay attended Paris Fashion Week where he ignited controversy wearing a shirt with the slogan, White Lives Matter. And if you haven't been... Uh, brought to your attention it has been brought to your attention through social media or just people in general talking about it i guess you were hiding under a rock somewhere and that's probably where the most of the population should have been because kanye is just too much at times okay but he goes on to say in his article uh instagram has restricted the account of Ye, the former rapper known as kanye west according to the hollywood reporter a meta spokesperson confirmed that the restrictions were put in place after repeated violations Ye responded to the restrictions with a now deleted tweet writing i'm a bit sleepy tonight but when i wake up i'm going defcon 3 on jewish people the funny thing is i actually can't be anti-semitic because black people are actually jews also you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. Matter didn't specify which posts were responsible for the restrictions, but on Friday, Ye posted screenshots that appeared to be text exchanges with Diddy, in which Ye told him, I'm going to use you as an example to show the Jewish people that told you to call me that no one can threaten or influence me. I told you this is war. The post has since been taken down from the Instagram account. The wave of yay news is coming off of his recent appearance at Passion, pa Paris Fashion Week where he wore a shirt that said, White Lives Matter. According to the Anti-Defamation League, the phrase first appeared in 2015 as a racist response to the Black Lives Matter movement. The stunt predictably started a wave of criticism and backlash that com culminated into the rappers doing a two-part interview with Fox News host Tucker Carlson. The broad-ranging interview featured Ye talking about everything from his religion, his relationship with the late fashion designer Virgil Abloh, his anti-abortion stance, and his political aspirations. In responding to why he wore the White Lives Matter shirt, Ye said, because they do. It's the obvious thing. Ye has a long history of erratic behavior, groating controversy, and attention. But more recently, the designer has been in the news for ending his highly publicized partnership with the clothing line uh, brand Gap. In September, Ye told the Associated Press that he sent a letter to the cabin or to the chain seeking to end the relationship, citing Gap's failure to meet obligations involving the distribution of his merchandise. Ye's other highly popula popular and profitable fashion partnership with Adidas is also now currently under review following Ye's stunt at Paris Fashion Week. So, <laughs> Kanye throws stuff out there 
then he tries to walk it back and then he throws something else like he threw the Grammy in the toilet because he was ranting about something they did or didn't do and you know he just put it on blast like those things don't mean anything to me while others who work hard to get those accolades it means everything to them but yeah it's like I'm beyond this world I'm beyond all of this stuff that y'all find very fascinating materialistical he thinks he's god that's pretty much now i'm just saying all this i've been stopped the article uh when it came to saying following easter and paris week i'm just making my own observation and saying that he might need to want to he might need to want to shut up before he finds himself back in the lab okay and those who knows what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about okay because when he does get to be a little off they take him out of uh circulation and then they bring back something else all right but uh y'all get down in those comments y'all uh, let me know what y'all felt about yeah is it is this something we should expect from him daily monthly weekly uh yearly or is it something he's trying to get the public to focus on because something else big is happening on the horizon? What y'all think about that? Well, I told you what I thought about it. I read the narrative of an article that someone wrote that yeah, someone wrote about Kanye West and his rants. Now it's time for my family to get down in those comments and tell me what you think about this interesting topic that just never seems to go away. Okay, and I mean Kanye and his rants. But that's all I got. Ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank you. Oh, and you know, subscribe, share, like the videos. All right. As you come into the house and, you know, make yourself some food or whatever. Or eat what I had to, uh, that I laid out for you all. And sit down and enjoy the commentary. Okay. All right.